Hello my Pisces, my fishes, welcome on my channel, Tip and Tutero. I'm going to do your bonus reading, who is coming towards you in October 2020, what's going to happen, what are they bringing, new love, or someone from your past, whatever, I will see, I will tell you. If you're single, you're in a relationship, you can watch this reading. So keep in mind, this is a general reading, as I always say, if it not resonate with your situation, with your story, it's okay, it's a general reading, so don't complain here. But you can come to me for personal if you want it. Check out the description box for all the detail. Let's see. Please follow your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus if they, if that is in Pisces. Whatever astrology you follow, whatever the resonate with you the most, check out that. So let's see who is coming. Energy could be vice versa, but I'm definitely focusing on Pisces. No offense, okay? So let's see. So we have the Ace of Pentacles. Some of you, you are too much focused, Pisces, on your, you're building up your career, you're building up yourself, you're building up your future. Three of Swords. Yeah, some of you, you really hurt, but you're still working on your money, your pentacles. You're trying to fix your heart, trying to heal your heart with the money, with the finances, with the career. You're making yourself busy to build, build yourself up financially. Yeah, for some of you, you feel like it's really a protective way to protect yourself. You know, from someone who can break your heart. Or you don't want to think about this person. King of Swords reverse. Yeah, this is someone. Oh my God. So you could be connected with Air Sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We also have Earth Energy here. But let's see who is coming. Two of Swords reverse. We have the Ace of Cups. Two Aces back to back. Wow. So I will go with the new love, new person, our new beginning. So we have the Ten of Cups. Woo! I love it. Who is this? Ten of Swords reverse. Okay. And we have the Lovers. It always happens in the Pisces reading. I mean, look at this. The Lovers. Okay. So let me get something more here. Okay. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Princes of Wands. And we have the Four of Swords. Okay. I'm going to get about this. Who is this King of Swords? Four of Pentacles reverse. Who's what is happening in the Three of Swords? Yeah, I love it. I just love it. Nine of Cups. What is happening here? Wow, three aces. Four of Cups. This is your energy right now, Pisces. You can't see this love is coming. You can't see this offer is coming. You can't see it because you're definitely focused on something that is. You're trying to maybe unite with someone. You're maybe fixing, fixed on third-party situation. You may be fixed on the, you know, things did not go well. You may be bored. You may be tired. You may be exhausted. If you're single, you're looking for love. But someone that is, you're looking for genuine love. Oh, no, my Pisces, okay? You don't want to settle down for less. And for others of you, if you are in a situation with someone, you're waiting for reconciliation, but there is someone new here. You can't see this offer is coming, but this offer is here. Ace of Cups. This is that offer. This is that cup that is coming. It's a big cup is coming in your life, but you can't see it. Okay? So this is your energy right now. So let's see who is coming. I'm getting a very, to be honest, this could be a, because we have, first of all, I have to show you because I'm really excited here. We have the Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Cup, Ace of Wands, three Aces. I mean, come on, what is this? Okay, so... This is definitely a new beginning in your life. This is something that you deserve, Pisces. Really. So I'm seeing that you could be connecting with fire, water, earth, okay, and anything. Because maybe a Pisces, maybe a Gemini, uh, maybe Aquarius, maybe Libra. And we also have maybe Taurus. Um, but this is also Knight of Cups. This is someone, a water sign. Okay. It could be any sign, by the way, but these signs are here. Now, let me tell you what's going on in here, who is coming. Some of you, you are releasing someone right now. This is that King of Swords and Knight of Swords and Four of Pentacles reverse. This is someone that you're right now releasing. Why? Because this person was detached. They were never, ever available to you emotionally. This is maybe your ex. This is someone that you are trying to separate yourself from. This could be your ex-husband. This could be your ex-boyfriend. This could be that you are in a situation with this person. But never, this relationship or these things never 
never ever have been grounded with this person. Knight of Swords. This person, because this person, because this came up reverse. Just because this person never took action towards you. They were holding back their feelings. Or you were holding on to this person. You're waiting that one day this person will come and take action and express their love to you. But they may be more, more possessive. They may be more focused on their money, money, money. So four of pentacles reverse here. You are trying to release this person. This is your energy, Pisces. It could be vice versa. But you are detaching or releasing someone who was detached, who was emotionally unavailable. And you're saying goodbye to this person forever. You're not wasting your time. Three of swords, because this person break your heart. This person never give you the clarity. Look at this, the rose here. You have romantic feelings, but this person put the sword in your heart. The hangman reverts here. The hangman is like stuck on this thing, stuck on this third party situation, stuck on this heartbreak, stuck on this situation that you are in, painful separation. Some of you, you are from Rainbow Tribe, okay? No judgment here. We have the hangman reverse here. So you're, you're definitely letting go this heartbreak, this heartache, this breakup, this separation, this pain. I really appreciate that because I'm definitely picking up the very clear message here. If this is not resonating with you and you're still stuck on someone that you want to be with, please close off this reading. This is not for you because this is all about new love. This is all about new things, new journey, starting from the zero, starting from the one, you know. So we have the Ten of Swords reverse here. Look at this. How painful, how much pain that you can accept from someone. So it's like you're saying no. Four of Swords, you're trying to heal yourself. You, some of you, you are in the process of healing. You're on the break. You're trying to heal yourself. And you're building up with the Nine of Pentacles. What I told you with the Ace of Pentacles and Nine of Pentacles. You're building up your finances, your career. You're bringing this, this passion, this love, this desire, um, this solid this 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 uh, this achievements this success in your life transformation you're going through a transition transformation it's like a rebirth of yours with this career with this through putting and investing in you again giving this self love to you with the knight of cups giving this love to you when they were living giving to someone who is not even there appreciating this and they, they did not appreciate it right so after doing this, I feel that, now look at this, we have the two of swords reversed. It's like you're not confused anymore. You know that what you want. You know the reality now. You're facing the reality. Or if you're not facing the reality, you need to face the reality. And reality is like whoever this person is detached or emotionally unavailable, or this could be your ex or this could be your current partner that you're in, in, a, in a, you know, like separation with. You have to open your eyes before it's too late because you're wasting your time. I'm seeing some of you, you need to make a choice here because with the lovers, definitely there's a love here. There's a lovers here. Someone is coming. Maybe it's your twin flame. Maybe your soulmate. Maybe your compatible partner. Someone that you will feel some, some soul connection with this person. And this person is definitely coming into your life with the definitely destined. Like it's the universe bringing this person. But at the same time, with the lovers energy, I feel that you have a choice to make here. That who you want. One person who is not even, you know, like here for you and you want it. And one person is just in front of you or coming to you or maybe already in your life. Like you need to make a choice here. This is very clear. With the Knight of Cups, this is someone who just want to be with you or maybe just right now your friend. You're flirting, you're talking, you're catching up the feelings for this person. This person is maybe emotionally available. This could be a water sign or maybe earth sign. And this is someone who is a fire and air sign that you need to release because they're not available to you. So you have to make a choice here. So I'm seeing with the Princess of Wands, this is someone who will send you a message. Or could be younger than you, or maybe you both are same age. Who knows, okay? But you have a, some of you, you need to make a choice here between two peoples. And for others of you, this is talking about like, I would not say reconciliation. It's not a reconciliation. It's someone that with the Ace of Cups to Ten of Cups. This is someone that you are feeling this instant attraction with you're meeting someone you're creating something with this person you maybe right now focus on creating your abundance your success and when you are in this sh in energy shining glowing and people can see this shine and glow so this could be someone who's want to approach you want to give you their love because you can see the key here i'm almost saying even though this is like a music thing here but i feel like it's a key so this is someone who's just give, look at this you will open this like you you just open the key the lock and there will be a lot of cups like 10 of cups it's like unlocking your luck 
unlocking your abundance, unlocking your love, your true love with the lovers here. This is someone that you will have this totally madly, deeply, really in love with. Or they may be in already. This is someone who is madly, deeply in love with you. They're crazy in love with you. Ace of Cups. This is a water sign. I don't know why I'm getting coming towards you. Or maybe already in your life. Because I'm seeing with the Knight of Cups. They're very romantic. This is like a proposal. This is like... <sighs> yeah, they're coming. This offer is coming. And you, you can't see this offer is coming, to be honest. Look at this. You can't see with the Four of Cups. You can't see this offer is coming. They're madly, deeply in love with you. Whoever this person is. Or they will be madly, deeply in love with you. And you will be too. Maybe you will fall in love with this person deeply, madly. And you will be like, I never thought that I would get over this, this heartbreak. And I will ever find or be in love again. But this person is coming, honey. You have to open yourself. Princess of Wands. This is someone... Um, you will... I feel that you will heal your inner child. This is someone who will he heal your inner child. This will heal you. This person will heal you. And you will feel like a childish with this person because this person will be very passionate. They will they, they will they will pamper you with their love, with their gifts. I'm seeing this person will shower you with a lot of love. Wow. I'm almost getting like you will feel overwhelmed by this love, this much love from this person, whoever this is. Overwhelmed by, by this person love. I don't know who's this person. You're hitting the jackpot, Pisces. Trust me. So let's see. Let's see. Who is this person? Wow. Some of you, this is a reconciliation. But it's most likely reconciliation with someone who is who's your true soulmate. Who's your true lover. And this will be a soul connection. So for some, it could be, you know, I would say 10 to 20%. This is your reconciliation with someone who was not available coming back to you, maybe. Who knows, right? And for others of you, this is someone that totally, I would go with the definitely 80%. This is new love because three aces, it's not a joke. Release your ex. Yeah, you have to release the ex to be with this person. Because you're stuck on this person. New love. Wow, I would go with the new love. But for some of you, this is someone that you release. You moved on from. You were in separation with. And they're coming for this reconciliation. Because they want your love now. Codependency. So this is someone who is obsessed with you. It is safe for to love and we have soulmate. Yeah, your soulmate is coming. Romantic feelings. This is someone who is obsessed with you. They have a romantic feelings for you and they can't let you go. Or maybe this is your energy that you can't let go of this person. But you need to let go. Release this person to bring this new love, this soulmate in your life. Because it is safe for you to love. Because with this person you will feel, wow, you will feel like you are in the safe place. This is your safe place. This is your safe love. I'm telling you. But for some of you, you need to release the ex to be with this person. And for others of you, this is someone that is coming back to you. You're coming into union with each other. Okay, so that's your reading. God bless you.